Hello and welcome. This is the configuration of my Raspberry Pi, which we will use for our Oracle Stream Explorer tutorial on connecting sensor gateway devices to event processing using the REST protocol. Here in my configuration, I have a Belkin router, which I use to connect from my Raspberry Pi to my computer. Here we have a USB hub. This USB hub connects the various sensors to my Raspberry Pi. Here I have the Raspberry Pi, which is used as a standard ARM processor. And here I have a sensor. This sensor is used for temperature monitoring. And so we're going to show how this sensor provides live, real-time sensing data streams it through to the Raspberry Pi, which is running Oracle Event Processing Embedded to do some basic analysis. And then that flows to the Oracle Stream Explorer where you can build your powerful, real-time Internet of Things applications. In this tutorial, we will show you how to integrate two devices, such as a Raspberry Pi running Oracle Event Processing Embedded using REST. After we log in, we'll go to our Customer Experience, Customer Analytics section, and we will provide and create a exploration and stream that will allow us to communicate with a Raspberry Pi. For the stream, we need to define the context path that will be used by the Stream Explorer and also the shape of the event data coming from the Raspberry Pi. When we look at the source that needs to be defined, we will uh, give a nice name and description to this source and some tags that are associated with this section of the catalog. We will define the context path and then the shape of the REST data coming from the Raspberry Pi. Now we have the source defined. We will create an expiration. We'll give the expiration a meaningful name and description. We will now specify the tags, in this case customer, to associate it with this section of our catalog and other useful tags relating to this expiration. Once done, we will then select the source, which is the source of the REST messages from our Raspberry Pi. Now we have entered our Stream Explorer expiration with the relevant properties and fields. We'll look at our Raspberry Pi that's running OEP, Oracle Event Processing for Java Embedded. And here you can see it analyzing events coming from an attached temperature sensor. The REST context is pointing to the events associated with alerts when the Oracle Event Processing Embedded system identifies that the temperature has reached out of bounds in terms of either being too high or too low for a normal operation of this equipment where we have the sensor attached. Here you can see now we are seeing in the Stream Explorer the events from OEP Embedded running on the Raspberry Pi indicating that the temperature has now gone out of bounds. We can then use the Stream Explorer to take these alerts, process them coming from not only this Raspberry Pi or this gateway device, but from many devices, and centrally analyze and provide additional alerting and sophisticated analysis from the Stream Explorer application. Here you can see the graphical representation in a chart of the streaming alert data coming from the Raspberry Pi device. Once the temperature value from the sensor drops below 80, then the alerts will be terminated from the Oracle Event Processing Embedded System.
Now you can see here that the Oracle Event Process Embedded Analysis has determined from the sensor that the temperature is now uh, fallen within bounds and no more alerts will be sent to the Stream Explorer. As we once again use the temperature sensor to generate more heat above 80 degrees, then once again you'll see here on the Stream Explorer these new alerts being generated which can be then analyzed by the exploration for further alerting to other systems or for downstream operations. Once we are satisfied with our exploration, we can then take an action to publish this exploration to make it available to other applications, other explorations that you may have within the Stream Explorer.